the slide, <laughs> have an evaluation patient 100 years old. Well, that is it. Um, and of course, uh, on top of it, uh, we did a cath, which is not uncommon that you have to do a cath in all, and you may find a significant CAD. Make sure they're ready for the tower, the tower quickly. Yeah. So this basically is uh, severe pulmonary hypertension, very significant left main. You can see there. Yeah. And that very tight lesion in the circumflex. And this is a guide catheter. Patient's blood pressure is about 180. You engage the guide, pressure goes down to 50. So we say, okay, we are going to make a two side holes. We made the side holes. The pressure, now, rather than going immediately going down to 50, goes after 60 seconds. So that's where we are now. So what we felt that what you do in these cases, and patient has a 100 millimeter aortic gradient. So in order for us to do a, a wait for this patient tower, do a PCI, usually we have to wait about four, the four to eight weeks. Uh, we felt that in this particular case, we do the balloon aortic valvuloplasty and put a stent in the left main to the LED. And of course, one in the circumflex because circ is very significant. And then a few weeks later, uh, do the tower procedure. So with that note, uh, while they're, the, this basically we proceeded, there's some disease in the right side, uh, you, you can see here. And we use a special balloon, wow. uh, which is called True Flow. And I hope they'll show the animation. It is like our perfusion balloon, you know, stack balloon uh, used to be that perfusion balloon. So while in these high risk cases you are inflating, the, there is still blood flow going through these triple lumen you can see there. So clearly it's a tri-leaflet uh, balloon with of course multi, uh, um, it's a plastic uh, material uh, and uh, really open nicely. So the mean gradient uh, from 100 went down to about 30, 35. So what, so, the, what, what size uh, is this? We use a 20 millimeter. 20. Yeah, 20. To 20 millimeter true flow. Now you don't need true flow in everyone. You can use a regular true flow balloon, uh, the, the the true balloon, but or or ZMAD. But in this particular case, we felt because of the left main disease will be helpful, and she did not right. have any hemodynamic uh, issue. But we have a trouble now that any time we engage with the guide, even with the side hole, within few seconds before we wire, uh, the way the pay she becomes very hypotensive. So that's where the we, uh, as soon as you came, so now we have disengaged the guide. And look at the blood pressure back again, uh, 200, 180, 200. Question is, you're going to get the uh, you're going to get the impeller, or you think it's not a, it's not a case that very you need bad a peripheral support? disease, very calcific peripheral disease. It even going to the right side. We use a 10, 11 French long sheath. A uh, lot of disease. Did we take an angiogram of the groin or no? Well, I'm we saying you have 11, 11 French sheath. At least you can use this side for the impeller. I don't know what other side you have though. Right, so that will story. be. And uh, we did an angiogram from the radial. A few days ago, and it was very difficult to engage. So even this catheter is very difficult to engage, uh, and I think uh, we give it a try once again. Now we presented this case in our meeting, and the, everybody said, "Forget the left main, just do the valvuloplasty and do a tower quickly in this case, and ignore the left main." And I think that should be the part of your uh, panel discussion while yeah. I'm going to engage again what to do with this kind of case. Yeah. It says during the inflation of the aortic balloon valvuloplasty, did Shit. the blood pressure went down or Nothing, not? because of that, this was a true flow. Uh, we, of course, we had a pacemaker, so pressure was about one, uh, 120, and we did a true flow dilatation and we came out. But you didn't have to pace to do the BAV though, correct? Well, I mean, the question was, the, 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 that's a very good point. Ideally, with a true flow, we should not. Uh, just having our um, usual habit and such a high gradient, actually many times we don't, but uh, by the time we realize uh, that, you know, the protocol that you have put a pacemaker, you have done the well, uh, the pacemaker rate uh, at 140 and so and so forth we went, but absolutely, that's a very important point. In this particular case with a true flow balloon and very severe aortic stenosis, the balloon is not going to move. You don't need to pace and particularly somebody who has this uh, significant CAD. Yeah. She hasn't had the CT yet? No, because of creatinine. Her creatinine is 1.3, but her creatinine clearance uh, comes out to be 17 uh, because of her age. And she is under petite. Uh, it's a BSA of uh, uh, 2.24 um, or 25, BMI of 25. And is she, uh, does she have angina and, and do you know what her... No, actually very important. The, she actually had the, carries the diagnosis of aortic stenosis for the long time. Now, what happened basically is that 
first symptom she started about a month or two months ago, dizziness and near syncope. She lives independent, walks two, two, three blocks, uh, her shop, shopping, her church, and so on and so forth. So that uh, uh, started affecting because of dizziness and uh, her pre-syncopal episode. One time in the church, she almost fainted. Then, in last one month, she started having uh, shortness of breath. Again, no angina. Uh, shortness of breath, and that's where she told the kids, because kid left everything on her, the what to do. And clearly she felt that, you know, this is not a good quality. I need, and when she came to us, it's very simple. I just need to walk two blocks. That is it. Don't have any symptoms. I don't, if I can walk, fix me so that I can walk two blocks. So now you tell me that we did a balloon valvoplasty, should we just go with the tower, knowing that this left main and LED is very uh, crucial, very troublesome, and we'll show. Uh, in this particular case, I'll give it still one or two more try because this will not be easy, very sharp angle uh, of the LED. Uh, yeah. The more important is even with the side holes uh, that uh, the blood pressure becomes 40-50. Uh, but why you think that is? Because the left main is more critical than yeah, the yeah, 50 Yeah, yeah, left main. Austrial. Because, because red is 50-60, yeah. but apparently yeah, it's not, this not actually 50, we, Remember what happened is, we did a case by the left radial. They yeah. did not have good injection. I see. And that was the whole purpose when oh, we discussed okay. this case before so this uh, for the presentation. Yeah. That first we'll do a good angiogram uh, and so and so forth. And that's where we uh, turns the, out to be here. Look at this. This here, no reflux. With the side holes, we did but the even, side holes now. But even forgetting the branches, isn't it possible the wire goes anywhere to an, to an inflation of the proximal uh, or the osteal left main or no? Because that, you know, if we stabilize that lesion, then you can, you can go ahead with the rest of the case. Well, that is one, uh, one question is that we put wire into the circumflex. Yeah, anywhere you go. Because that we can do quickly yeah. and they do a cutting balloon uh, with Just a 3.5 uh, angio sculpt yeah. and uh, gives a little time uh, for subsequently. Yeah. The left ventricular function is normal? Yep, normal EF. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, Why you didn't uh, uh, plan to do a tower? Which is the reason? No idea was that if he had left main disease, and we all know that with the tower with the left main, you will not be able to do a left main intervention later. So as I said that, yes, some of the p uh, cardiologists, when we presented this case uh, in meeting on our CATH conference on Tuesday, said that, Left main or no left main, it's all related to AS, uh, shortness of breath, or dizziness, uh, pre-syncope, just do that um, balloon yeah. valvoplasty and tower uh, and uh, forget the left main. Yeah, the question, true. The, should we go back to that strategy? Well, the problem here is that, I mean, if you do the tower, you probably can get her to walk two blocks, but then in six months, yeah. she may not walk two blocks because of the left main. That's and it. And then it's very hard to, I mean, this is left yeah. main disease. This is not distal mid-LED or distal yeah. cirque. This yeah. is the, the ostium of the left main, a huge, huge territory. So I think you're doing the right thing. Okay, so we are going to get, with that confidence, we go back again in this view, LA438, uh, and uh, try to wire once again. But you want, yeah. It was not difficult to convince you, huh, Dr. Sharma? <laughs> well, that's good, I like it. <laughs> But now we, we, don't, we want the wire to go anywhere. Wherever it goes, if it crosses, it's good. Okay. It's going to the Yeah, well, CERC it definitely can go. But that, there's no, no clearly disease at the uh, ostium of the... Uh, yeah, get any balloon. 3.5. There you go. Right now. You see that? Yeah. Uh, we should continue to show hemodynamics. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. Let's go. But, yeah. yeah, it's not the... It's the ventricular rise, but not down. Yep. The nice thing, though, is exactly. once the wire is in, then you can disengage the guide and let, yeah. him, exactly. let her breathe. Yeah. Exactly. You just exactly. need the, 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 the wire, guide support yeah, just to the wire, then you kick out the guide again. Yeah. Yep. Good. So just to be, yeah, see? There is a little bit of a calcium in the beginning of the circuit. A lot of big calcium chunk. Yeah, it's a big calcium chunk, so that will pose a little bit difficulty in the wire regardless. So. I don't know, you want to get a new wire now with all, the, all these things you did, uh, you know. We actually, this is a, we can use another wire. Nice. Whatever this may be. Get the guide out. Like, like yeah. Take it and yeah. then, yeah. Good, leave it. That's good start. Yeah. The other question is, yeah, just uh, that should we do a rotor? It's a very calcific. But if you do rota, going to the circumflex side? Balloon and stent. 
balloon stand in this case cut yeah. balloon and stand uh, yeah, I, I, I think, you know, uh, yeah, I think that at this point, just focus on the Austin. Get the engage guide a little bit more. Yeah, I think you simplify the technique as much as possible. And then if, you've if you treat the Austin, if you have to go back later, it's going to be a lot easier. Engage it a little bit. Where are we? Are we in the exactly circumflex, right? Uh, no, no, with the circle, where are we? Uh, unfortunately, clear, we're in a small branch. Small branch. No, not the way. Yeah, no, that's, that's okay. Little there back. you go. This is the yeah, sir. That's there you go. Good. Let's go, yeah. sir. Yeah, that lesion there we is also tight. Advances. And we can ex the guide out a little bit as soon as we go. Yeah, good. What are you trying to do now? Why this tally and put a rotor blade all the way? Well, the rotor blade or any, because we need a little support. Remember, we start putting the device. Yeah. They'll come out. But that. The, so that the the move with the microcatheter though is important because with the guide disengaged, the guide. it's hard to wire that, and with the microcatheter you'll have the torque control you need. Yeah, I don't know about that part. There is a better view for this one if you go to the caudal or something. It opens up a little bit. This uh, it was a little bit of an aneurysm and a stenosis at the same time over there. Okay, this is the which one was that? Fielder. No, that's the, uh, Okay, this is the mar get a fielder. I'm gonna disengage this yeah. 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 Disengage. Look at the blood pressure again. Pressure. Yeah. Don't give any neo. Okay. It's only engagement. Yeah. Let's wait. Let's go to the view which we had earlier. Yeah. There was one view that showed this this little circle very nicely. This. Yeah. Yeah, you see there's an aneurysm there. That's probably getting in the aneurysm and then you can't find the exit. You got to go here. Yeah, let the pressure come up. You know what? Why don't you give one Neo? One Neo. So I think uh, what we'll do is we'll prepare ourselves a little bit uh, so with the pressure. So we have a long wire then? So we have a long wire. Yeah. You want to try the long whisper or with a long uh, filter or something here? Yeah, I'm taking this wire out. Okay. Yeah. Hey, one of the what do you have? Actually, uh, uh, we are done. Uh, we looked into our uh, database, five cases, uh, 100 plus years. So whatever you want to call it, centurion. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, the just recent paper of nano, nanogenarians uh, in Jack um, intervention. So we have actually a large number of patients in the uh, 90 plus group. Lil Dai, where to guide it? Oh, it, it's even, it's in the proximal part. It's not even in the, in there the you go. very well. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. nice. Yeah. Good. Now yeah. we have to cross it. And yeah. then, uh, just one okay. second. Let's see what it is. Yeah, so soft. it goes in. It the question is, do we, because left main, uh, maybe we can do without, uh, without rota. What do you think? Yeah, I would not I think go so. to rota. Just, let's say she's one well, hundred. Unless you uh, want to go all the way to the circuit, and burn the circuit as well, all the way down there. No, circuit is soft. Yeah. This is ulcerated lesion. Okay, very yeah. good. You want to go with Grand Slam or what? No, this is actually length uh, uh, our uh, run through, run through which actually works very good in this situation, which used to be in the past, used to grand slam. So it works out very good. Give us a 3 or uh, 20 high pressure balloon. Okay. So you're going to trap the, the exchange catheter. I yeah, will be there in about five minutes. You, did you exchange with a long wire there? Yes, yeah. we did that now. Yeah, this is a long run through. It's a long run through yep. into the distal circle. Yes. And we'll see if we need to be, and we have 3.5 angio sculpt ready uh, for the left main. And of course, this is not going to go. It went in actually. That's okay. I don't know if it goes further down. That's good. Yeah. Fine. Go up. Yeah, that's fine. Go. We better go up quickly, uh, yep. Nitin. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. 
good. Yeah, otherwise the pressure is going down. Yeah. <laughs> I think what I'll do is I'll open uh, left main with this uh, now. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, and then we'll use a put a stent. Then we'll do an angio sculpt and then we'll see. Because they are getting ready uh, on uh, the last yeah. hour case also. Go. Yeah, you better open with something yeah. right now. Yeah, go 20. Good. Well, opened up nicely. Yep, so far with this side. So you okay. felt confident that you'd be able to wire the LED rather than wire that first? Uh, well, I mean, the I only question was we tried so far. Uh, we we, because well. of the issues that, no, I, I think putting a stand will become more difficult. So that basically will be that maybe we decide that, you know, don't put anything for the LED, put a stent in the left main and circumflex. Because you saw it, uh, even now, just a little dilatation, pressure again 50. Okay, let's get the stent ready. We go with the stent. Yeah, this is. Well, I'll take a pick. Well, try to engage once more. Now you have dilated to see maybe you're more stable. Yep. Hemodynamically, that might be a good test. Yeah. yeah, this is actually will be a good synergy case. Yeah. Go. Good. The long one. Good. We definitely need a long well, one. Well, the pressure is not ventricularized anymore, yeah. so we can maintain position. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. Here. Yeah. What do yeah. you get? A 3 0? Yeah, you need a 3 0. I would say 3038. 3038, but I don't know if it's going to deliver, though. Although, why don't you try with 32? Well, that's what, no, now it may. Yeah, and uh, that's why the selecting synergy of the thin, okay. thinnest strut. It's a big, yeah, si big challenge, big challenge. Although, all actually, all our stents uh, today, except that of uh, that whatever we decided, uh, maybe because of calcium did not deliver, but everything else delivered very well. There is a lesion right after the OM, it says. You see it? Yeah, those we leave it. So you see that? Uh, yeah, that we, was we a wire bias a little bit. I see yeah, here. We cannot so make there was a mild perfect. disease there. There is a lot of disease. See here. Yeah, it's on the, the guide. So it's yeah. about a 50%. I would yeah. not worry too much about it. Yeah. And you, you make everything too crazy. Yeah. So try to put the stand now this time in the serve. If that's successful, then we're going to deal with what you do in the left main versus the LAD. Either yes. a stand across or get a bit more detailed and go into the LAD. Yep. Because the ostium of the LAD doesn't look that bad, at least. No, 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 it's, it's very bad. Yeah, no, in, the cranial, in the cranial. Yeah. Yeah. In the cranial, it's very yeah. bad. The problem the is you need to do the other blade over there, I think. 27538, two yeah. They don't have. Okay, and I think uh, once we deliver this, uh, and we are ready with a 3.5 angio uh, sculpt. And then we're gonna go uh, for a few minutes to the tiver, is that right? Yeah. Very good. All right, we need a lot of help in this case. Marchena is recommending a wire in the LADSS. Too much to do now? No, but not now. I mean, we'll, uh, uh, once we do, after step. opening, uh, uh, we had to do a little cutting balloon uh, of the left main, then only. Because we tried, uh, but it's not a simple yeah. one. Okay. It, pro it will go, but uh, we may take a little uh, extra effort. So we wanted to stabilize both uh, uh, the, the circ and the left main, and then go with that. Wow, that's a big delivery. Yes. And we're talking about a train of stand here. Yes. Wow, that's a long stand. Yeah. We definitely don't go in short here. Yeah. Good. That's very good. Yeah. Sixteen. Yeah. Give, give us a three o thirty high pressure balloon. But note how after the after the balloon goes up, the guide is disengaged. So even yep. though the ostium was was dilated, you're still yep. allowing her to rest. Yeah, you saw it. Uh, even then, uh, that even despite every time we engage, it still significantly goes down. It's funny though, because we always tell our fellows this: is they get so spoiled with the impella device that you don't have to do that. Yeah. Then you forget these techniques that if you can't use the device or you're not using it, can be really helpful in these cases. Yes. Okay, we just quickly post dilate. 
But uh, Pedro clearly that we definitely want to wire the LED. There is no question there. Before we put a stand, we give it one more try. But it may be that if we cannot do uh, to our limitation, so that uh, rather than see this now guide, even now. Yeah. Yeah, one yes. inflation there. Yeah, I know, I know. She's always ready to go. Just wait a few minutes. Go on. Oh, great. You so know, we yeah. did a distal, nice. distal circ ballooning. The guide has been nicely you out have, for the most part. You have an LAO coral projection, it says, or AP, steep AP coral? Yeah, AP coral well, actually. Kind of the it. first one was AP coral, didn't show much. Because I think that austral LED is eccentric, it's yes. only seen in the cranial. Yep. Yeah, the other thing is that the asthma of the LED also looks more calcified than other areas in the coronary. Take my picture quickly. All right, so CERC has been taken care. Yeah, very nice result okay. in the CERC. Let's, let's, let's focus five, in the left uh, main. And just sculpt quickly. And you can now see how long that first part of the left main was that we didn't used to see before. Yes. And uh, the, uh, uh, the plaque comes from the top of the lumen. Um, Quite long, if need be, and uh, an eight or a twelve millimeter stand may fit there. Yes, if need be, Go and still leave the so, still leave the the LED un, uh, untouched. No, I'm just going to do angioscope first, high pressure, yeah, let's and then we uh, wire it, uh, and then meanwhile uh, you'll go to uh, other side uh, and then come back uh, to us. Okay, little die. Let's see where we are now. It's great. Yep, go. It's a place exactly. Finishes in the. Distal fat part, if you want it. 14, 16. Higher. Yeah. Good. This is what? 3, 5, 10? 3.5, 10 and your sculpt. So I will be so happy if the blood pressure only goes down by 10 uh, once we engage now. Actually, looking better. No, actually, it doesn't go 10. down at all. Only 10, yeah. Okay. All right, so the, this will be a little work for us. Uh, I think they are ready in uh, uh, for the valve and valve tower. I think you can go there in room six. Very good. And meanwhile, we'll, we'll get ready here. We're going to go to room six, and then uh, you give us a summary later on. So we'll go to yes. case number 12, which is the last case, 83-year-old man with a lot of CHF, Dr. Kinney, Dr. Kovacic there. Yeah, uh, you see that? 83-year-old male. I'm going to the summary case because this is the last case. Yeah. Uh, so NIH class 3 who has severe bioprosthetic uh, valve dysfunction, mostly AI, very minimal uh, AS, STS mortality about 5, and uh, you know, he was deemed high risk for a second uh, re op uh, uh, because of comorbidities as well as a frailty. So, here we are, it will be a percutaneous uh, valve in valve, and uh, of course, we have chosen the uh, Evolute uh, 26 millimeter. Um, uh, this is not the pro, the old uh, Evolute. And I think the question would be the same in this kind of valve in valve situation. That Evolute definitely, the data has shown, is a better valve service since it is a su supra annular and you will get a, um, a better okay. valve area. Great. Let's look a little bit at the imaging so we can be in a little bit of a fast pace here. Yeah, That's we are fast pace. So if you see that, uh, very JK, interesting. you Just to show you, very, very tortuous access. We normally go up and over with this uh, 018 wire, safety wire. In this case, just too tortuous, we tried for a couple of minutes, so it was just difficult. So we've gone without the safety wire in this case. Vessels are not calcified, so it's very reasonable in this case. Go to the slides, please. Go to the slides and show us the next slide. Let's back go to the, the sli presentation Let's slides, go back please, to the, slide. the history. This Echo, is the you echo. can see a lot of AI in this case. It's really the predominant problem in this patient is AI from a failing valve. Uh, and Dr. Chowdhury, do you want to comment? Yeah, sure. Uh, we can see the, the, we are imaging with a pediatric probe and we are looking at a bioprosthetic uh, aortic valve with marked degeneration and probably flail leaflet. And when we turn on color, we can see there's wide open aortic regurgitation. Wide open, great. Next slide, please. You can see here the angle is very reasonable, about 45, 50 degrees. Next. 
You can see here, this is a, uh, a 27 CE valve. It's 20 years old. The diameter across the valve is around 23 millimetres. The, perim the uh, perimeter is around 72. Right on the border, you know, for a traditional uh, native valve, what we're doing would be between, between a 26 and a 29 evolute. In these valve-in-valve -valve cases, because the, 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 the structure is rigid and we're not going to be expanding it, we're usually going with the smaller size. So this is going to be a 26 millimetre evolute, evolute valve. Next slide. There you can see the coronary height, very reasonable. Next slide. This is important here. You can see on the right-sided panel the distance between the, where the theoretical valve is going to sit and the orifice of the left main is about six millimetres, suggesting that the risk of left main occlusion is not nothing, but it's probably fairly reasonable and low in this case. Yep. Next. Very useful. Next. Here the axis, you can see no calcium whatsoever. Quite tortuous, but no calcium. We did put a, a, a rigid cook sheath up because of the tortuosity, so we didn't have any issues with kinking, uh, but the, that all went fine. Next. Here you can yeah, see tortuosity. Yeah, Next. Super, super tortuous, yeah, but not much Next. calcium. Next, there's the valve, 26 Evolute, the old valve without the uh, skirt, as we said. And next. I think we're done. I think we can go. Uh, oh, this no, is, how this is a look. very important point uh, <coughs> that uh, how to implant valve in valve. You see the old surgical valve. We will show you on fluoroscopy. You see the ring. The goal is same, which is uh, shown the planned implant, the lower on the right hand side where you see the evolute sitting. So it, you have to keep it at a zero level. Zero. Uh, uh, level of half the, a the, yeah, yeah. The, so the, right half picture, a the right picture of the screen is the most important because that's what we're going to be gearing up for during the fluoroscopy. So, so got to be uh, on the high side. So this is where we are, right? This is the Let's view. Back to now. the fluoro, yep. So we're going in. The, the very well aligned that you see that we're cutting this valve uh, right across. Oh we have the confident wire in, in the ventricle. Uh, the patient uh, already has a permanent pacemaker, which is a good thing. Mm. So when you have a problem, so I think I'm going to rotate it a little bit, this side or that side. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No, yeah. the uh, codo. May not be zero, right? Yeah. Yeah. No. Huh? I mean, let's just no, try. And... You're okay. Okay, we're going to start releasing now. We have Alan Stewart, our surgeon. He's going to start releasing. It's going diving down, I'm pulling back. As we start to flare, okay, start uh, pacing at 150. Good. Nice, 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 right? No. Good. Well, make sure it stays yeah. there. Yeah, it's yeah, always yeah, I know, electric. I know, I know. Okay, stop. It's stop. very good. Okay, it's very good, pacing. the level. Go the, the level is very good. Excellent. Stop pacing. Go views. Okay, now you go and check a couple. We have to check a couple of views just to make sure we are... Okay. Nicely yeah, aligned, no parallax. Sinai is good. Okay, let's mm -hmm. see. I think no parallax, no right? Paral and there's no parallax, and I would release this valve. <laughs> okay. The other view here is no, uh, no, no, about other this. Other panelists, uh, any ideas? I uh, did thumbs up. The Dorosia. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think it's a good position. Uh, let's, uh, can we see I'm the um, hemodynamics, hey, the I pressure? Did. I did. Why is back? Good. Nice. Nice, no. nice, nice. Is released? Nice, really, really, really. Looks released. good. Hardly any AI. Good. Okay, yes. watch how the cone comes out now. Okay, looking good? Very good. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Looks good by Echo. Echo looks good? Yeah, Echo looks great. We are going to clap. Can you show us your hemodynamics? Okay. You will try to get into the LV. Can give us a uh, pigtail. Come out. We can take this out. Yeah, we have a sheath. Get a peak towel ready. Beautiful deployment. Thank you, guys. You know, I find the Evolute a little slip, more slippery on the um, bioprosthetic valves than the old core valve. And so, uh, the, this precise dropping it into exactly where you want it is, is, I think, a little more challenging. But you did it beautifully. And I think that rapid pacing here is a good idea uh, because it does have a tendency to want to pop out a little bit. 
Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, that I think we're not exactly at zero. There. We're at like minus three, I would say, or minus two, which uh, I think is okay. Let's look at the hemodynamics. I think the, uh, you've got to leave like 0.5, not uh, exact zero, but maybe 0.5. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You we'll cannot just, do zero, I zero. I, uh, that's close. Yeah. I mean, I, w I would also be very uncomfortable with the zero. And just to be clarified, we're using the first case. Okay, let's case, show the hemodynamics the, uh, here. The Evolute Pro, Beautiful. which has a skirt yeah. around, but here we don't need it that much because the, there is already the uh, prosthetic valve in. And you Definitely, can see that the, uh, the hemodynamics are perfect. No uh, gradient and uh, the diastolic before. Are we showing the hemodynamics? Are you, you're seeing it. And the great. diastolic improved. Great. Excellent. Great case, Anu. Congratulations. Uh, and Dr. Moreno will read the, 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 the discussion. One aogram. Okay, let's see. I think by echo we see that there is no AI and the diastolic pressures are great. We're just going to do an aerogram, Anu? E up. E up, please. Good. Don't inject immediately. See the nice placement of the valve? Good. Beautiful. Inject. Beautiful. Very good. Yeah. That's perfect. Though. But, yeah. I think uh, the key here is the same with the bioprosthetic is that uh, Evolute definitely is a better valve and uh, as you see there, uh, absolutely like on, we barely get any gradient with this uh, valve. In valve in valve and I think positioning which we showed you uh, in that last slide how you position it, and when uh, when you're above, when the valve is flaring up, you pace 150 or so, right. and uh, that's the time you release it uh, fast and <laughs> just Very good uh, check it in couple a uh, couple of views to make sure there's uh, no parallax <laughs> and that the uh, everything is yeah. uh, you know the valve is nicely placed around the ring, and once you're uh, sure, yeah. you just release <laughs> it. Okay. Any, any comments from the panel? Now you go back to Dr. Sharma. Okay. Beautiful case, Dr. Sharma. Do you hear us? All right. <laughs> what have you done? I'll tell you what uh, we have not done. <laughs> mm. You wired the LED. I can see that. Yeah. So just one second. We'll be there now. Oh, but it was heavily calcified because yeah. he's gone. Heavily calcified, yes. So I now see. you saw it that uh, it was, took us a little time. Uh, here, look at the calcium. You know that the LED is not going to open without uh, atherectomy, rotational atherectomy or orbital, whichever way. Only contraindication here orbital was the osteal left main because osteal uh, lesion, you have to disengage the guide and orbit will uh, have no control and will uh, flop around. So basically, because of that, we selected here rotational atherectomy. We are here with the 1.75 bar. Uh, we go to the same view. You go downstairs and finish it with the uh, raffle and everything. Go this is your change. first bar. 175, you're going to start with that? Then. then you come here. Yeah, it's a just a single bar French guide. And uh, we, we have done our uh, usual things. Uh, Dynaglide check. Uh, uh, remove all the tension uh, from this and ready to start. We were thinking that should we go with a 1.5 uh, uh, bar versus 1.75. Yeah, I know you like to start with a with a good bar, but the LED is what a three millimeter vessel. Yeah, so this is a 1.75 bar, but we knew with that angulation we might end up in the downsizing it if we don't do it in two three uh, at the our uh, efforts. Okay, give Neo uh, pressure does go down, which we expect. Give two of Neo, systolic blood pressure having more than 100, it's just touching 105. Yes, classical teaching of Dr. Sharma, never attend the rota with a blood pressure below 100. Yeah, once you are done, 20 seconds, although we are, uh, when you are doing a polishing, that's okay. You can do a little excess. Good. Okay. Yeah, I'm going and uh, you start calling your people. A PTCA and stand. 
PTC and stent in the yes, circuit is stent distally. Here you stent uh, left main to LED. No, that took the clip out. We are still on. This guy is just so the plan will be to stem from the off stem of the left main, left main to the LED. Into the LED. Yeah. Yep. There's a wire. Yep. The wire is there. Yep. Okay. Looking good? All right, let's see. We still keep it outside. Okay, so it's a little uh, the usual with oh, this calcific case. Before, before you surf the, the circuit, yeah. the circuit? Yeah. 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 No, we are now we stand a distal circuit. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Good. Let's go. Very Why? interesting. No balloon pump. Nothing. You severe. cannot do anything in this case. We want to, but could not. Severe AS. How good this case has been done. So we'll just do a caudal picture. Right, so if we are doing the austral, uh, one, okay, change of plan, apparently creatinine is 1.6, you have a caudal picture, so we decide on the strength length, so we take a 3 oh, right? But you still have to pose the leg, huh? Yeah, we will, we have a 3 oh balloon, so we'll do side by side wire. Get, get us a balloon. I think the uh, interesting point here will be what should be the view when you are doing osteal left main stenting. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and in more stable patients, the ability of having the osteal flush is very, very good. Because you miss, you know, if you are very picky, you may miss the osteum. On the other hand, if you don't leave, you know, if you leave some struts outside, and it's difficult to re-engage. So I love the osteal flush. So we're going to use the same 3 o balloon, right? What is the strength you used in the circ? Synergy. Use a so you, uh, you want synergy. a 3 o 28, right? We use a Synergy 3 o 28 in the circ, yeah. So we use the same. You're gonna go with, are you going to go with the balloon now or the wire the circ? No, uh, no, I, I think... Um, you don't need to wire the circuit, I agree. Oof, okay, go up here. Let's pre-dilate, this is a 20 balloon, right? You may need the guy liner. Huh? Longer, but then you have some diag. So nice expansion. That's 20 by 3? Uh, 20. This is just a 20, uh, a 3 or 20 balloon, yes. Because the 175 were... The pressure is going down, then, when the... The, the pressure comes. Yeah. One more kneel. So, other question you also have to do is a quick inflation in these cases. And in the rare situation, you may have to do half and half. We rarely do half and half, yeah. but you can have half and half die, so your inflation deflection is very fast. Giving more kneel? Yeah, yeah the, the pressure is down, yeah. Okay, so we have to decide on the length then, yeah. right? The, the one thing that, that ostium of the circ looked a little bit hazy after the inflation, so that's the only thing to... Mm. Then which view you want? You don't need more neo, huh? Yeah, we are waiting for the blood pressure to come up. You gave more neo? Looks like he's coming up. Okay, let's go. Ready? I I won't take caudal picture. Ready? Hmm. Yeah. Where? <laughs> I think the injection is not selective, huh? Yeah. And but there's something. But I think. Uh, and there, there's some haziness in the osteal cirque. I yeah, mean, I mean this may be one where you just you two stents. That's a six French guiding. Did a caudal picture show the osteal cirque or no? No. 
Just balloon. But uh, look Provisha. here, uh, even if before they intervened, uh, it looked that way. That yeah, it looked that disease. hazy. Yeah, that's, that's true. Is yeah. it calcium? Did you do anything to the hostile cirque? No. Balloon, no. nothing? Actually, yeah. No, the balloon hung into there, right? Well, he ballooned, he ballooned, uh, yeah, he did. Yeah, the left he, main was ballooned into exactly, the cirque. Exactly, exactly. Mm. Okay, yeah, he ballooned the left main and the, into the cirque. Okay, ready? Now this will tell us? Yeah. Oh. So mini crush with a balloon. <laughs> we have a uh, six French guide. That's what I'm saying. Mini crush with a balloon? Yeah. I mean, the old style. You know, when we started to put stents, we have to put a balloon and the stent. It has to be DK. Forget the DK, right? Now get us a get us a fielder quickly. We have to wire the circle. <laughs> this is typical Sharma stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah your guide has been tricky. Nothing is nothing is yeah, just disengage the guide though while you're Yeah, yeah. Give me. <coughs> no no get get me a fielder. Not that one. That's a three hundred fielder. Now you have the other access from the BAV, right? No, same. same. No, it's one access. The BAV, then they went with a, uh, um, in a smaller sheet through the BAV sheet. So, sheet in sheet. I'll, huh? I'll put a sheet. Oh. What is your plan? If you have the BAV. What? What is your plan? No, we could uh, I think we have to put a short stent in the circ, ostium. The other thing is, uh, LED looks okay. You want to stent from uh, left main to circ? That's what we should do. Yeah, I mean, that way you'll stabilize the circ and then you can rescue the LED. Yeah. She's 100. Or, or uh, if the LED looks good, we could leave it alone. After Rota, Rota balloon, I guess. Yeah, you had Rota and yeah. balloon. Huh? Right? There was a severe stenosis there. Huh? So then it was severe to start off with. In the it's LED. a good idea to stand from the left main into the circ. I no, think I oh, like it was that. not uh, too bad, right? The LED? Yeah, it was. So yeah, just. just no, no, the, the LED was tight. That's why you rota it, right? Yeah. Careful, there may be dissection there. But if you're going to go sequential, it's maybe safer to do the circ first and then. LED next. Do we like need to dilate the ostium again? No, we had a 3510 sculpt, that's the whole problem. Okay, then get us a 3512. Huh? But you see two synergy trio will not go in? Yeah, you need to come up to the ostium of the left main. Remember, the ostium of the left main was involved. Yeah, they, uh, they have big sheets, so they can, yeah, you can, you can put, put, a put a seven French. You uh, could also upsize the yeah. guide. Yeah. You already have a sheath in sheath, yeah. so the groin won't be an issue. And with a parallel wire in the aorta support wire, you could just put a yeah, bigger put guide in. Yeah, put your two stands together. And, uh, to do a mini crush? But that may be complicated. To do a I mean, just stand in the cirque first. Mm. How many times we did that? Changing the guide with the wire into the corner. Disease, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, it, it works. Huh? Especially yeah. they, 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 will be, they will have two wires. It's <laughs> even easier. Huh? So they have two wires, and they already have a big sheath in the groin. Is that a bad idea, actually? No, 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 no. no. We are deciding. Uh, the, then we put. A, you want to put a twenty and be done with it? I think. Or you, you put synergy, right? Yeah, synergy. Stick with so. the synergy. No, I think we are, what we are going to do is left main to circ, and uh, then we see what happens to the LED. If LED looks good, we are done. 3520, right? You want 3520 or 24? We have to go to the ostium. Give us 20, 3520. Which one? You never leave a liar inside the bench. So only thing is we, uh, the, we have the, yeah, yeah. Now, Kini, there, there is no rush. Do you want to image the LED? No, 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 no. You're tired, huh? Please. You're done. Uh, 
Okay, so we're going, but uh, uh, we have a run through is in the view. I think uh, this view is good. What's the view we are? This view is very good. Oh, you carry what is asked you. Good. Here. All right. Can you turn her head to the other side a little bit, guys? Just. Okay. Mm. No good. Okay, some die. You have to be a... You. I'm going in a little bit. Yeah, now this is covering the ostium very good. Okay? Okay, see now. That's good. Go up. Up and down fast. Pull yeah. back the guy in, yep. Low pressure is great. One more kneel right now. One more kneel. 14, okay? Because we are not going to be posted. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Go half out or not? No, no, go, go. One of kneel given. How high? So we went up to 16. You want to balloon the ostium in the way out? Yes, now we will do the ostium here. Okay, go up, quick. Wait one second again. Mm, wait. <clears throat> Pressure is down again. One more. It's fine, coming up. Okay. okay. Go, go, good. Okay, down. Okay, let's see. See, there is no ventricularization anymore. One wire is below the stent, so it cannot engage. I think... Yeah, it's probably going to be done now. Last picture. You're just quiet, I know. Sharma is asking. No, she can hear, yeah. She's just concentrated. Yeah, she's ten across from the Austin, yeah. Yeah, we don't hear you. There's a problem with the volume. Do you hear us? Again, we don't hear you. Anu, we don't hear you. We can see you, but we don't hear you. But Sharma says go to the coral. She pulled everything. Okay, talk. Nobody has a mic in this yeah. room? No, no, we, now we can hear you, yeah. Okay, somebody who is managing the mic is sleeping today. Look at that blood pressure. Yeah. Man. Now you give anti... Uh, <laughs> no, she has severe AS, severe AS. Don't, don't, 
uh, just wrap no, up no, no, if no, you no, want. No, 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 we're just joking. Why, why you mean the cotton never showed uh, it? I, I see a porous taint at the ostium. Looks a bit compressed, the, the ostium. I, I pressure agree. balloon at the ostium. Which ostium are you talking? Left main. Left main, left main ostium. Oh, left main. It's not going to show anything. Remember, it's a synergy. Okay, ready? I don't know why. Go. LED looks good. We will post the osteal left main now. Okay, give us, guys, 408 or 12. Take a 12, no? 8. Quick. Okay, call the fellows. Yeah, we are calling the fellows. They are already lined up outside. We are just going to post dilate here and that. No, no. Oh, that one? Why? That's the way you left it. Okay, go up here. Did you give any Neo, that blood pressure? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Look go at up, that. Beautiful. Yeah. 20 atmospheres, 4 0. And no drop in blood pressure right now. No, I think you're good. Oh, you want one? Okay, yeah. Yeah, that was Kirtani said. Yeah, absolutely correct. Okay, now what I want to do is one good uh, in the cranial day, picture. <laughs> sometimes we didn't even do the angiograms, you know. Nothing, nothing, Beautiful. nothing. These patients are so grateful. They they get so much better. This is the last picture where we are going to show the ostium of the LED, right? But the ventricularized again. Yeah. We are in. Okay, ready? Don't stand like a statue, man. Go. Already looks good. I think LED okay. looks good. We should be Re done here. Yeah, remove the wire. We're done. Yeah. Clap. <laughs>